Good morning, everyone. You now I have enough of the daylight to record a video. It has pretty much rained for the last, since Monday, today's Friday. So, and I didn't, couldn't get the video to post because I don't have good service at home anymore. So, um, I'm gonna get to post it till Wednesday. But I will get this video done and posted probably by Saturday. Um, but anyway, now let y'all know some stuff that's going on in our area. First thing is this weekend. Um, I'll say it again, Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Green Valley Baptist Church in Webbers Falls, Oklahoma. We're having a skeet shoot. <laughs> you can show up early because they do practice a little bit, so if you can get there at 9, that's fine. And, uh, you know, they always have a prize. And uh, this weekend is also Fin and Feather weekend. So that's where the Fin and Feather Resort puts on their big rummage sale where people set up booths. And anybody who knows me knows I like me a junk sale, so feeding everything. Also, our bulk feed guy, he got some new bulk feed. And I'm kind of liking it. It's a five way instead of a four way. Anyway, they set up from Weber's Falls, which is where we live, all the way up to Paradise Hill, which is north of Gore. It's still technically Gore, it's just the Paradise Hill area where the Fin and Feather Resort is. It's huge. We will see people from all over everywhere. And there's people who come from all over everywhere and put up boots. Pretty exciting. Made some good finds. Bought a couple of mixers. And that's another thing. I do collect vintage mixers. I go to chapter sale. There's all my pests right there. But they're just so darn adorable. Really, guys, her hair is so funky. This is the worst time I've ever had trying to pour feed into this trough. Get down. Why know you're going to get shot. <laughs> I'm probably not even catching half of the funny. Down. Get down. No, I'm not catching half the funny. She keeps rearing up at me. Okay. That's it. Somebody buy two cute little bucks. They need a home. They're fixing to get put in with the big billy and their mama's going to get moved back over here and grow them up a little bit. Then we'll take them to auction. It's about the only thing we can do if nobody wants to just outright buy them. And they look good. They all look good. I'll pet Dolly while she's right here. Ha 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 ha. She hates being touched. She's, she's like me. <laughs> she hates random people touching her. So, in addition to, you know, the fun stuff we have going on, I still have to do all my chores. Lily. Well, Lily's Lily. We drove some pasture. Matt went to put a salt block out for deer, and uh, so we went ahead and drove around all the pastures. And we had the black and tan trooper turn loose. He got over there by the goat pen. Lily positioned herself between the goats and the dog. I have to look down because there's a hole right there, or I would have stepped in it. Anyway, she pushes it. She positioned herself between Trooper and the goats, so 
she does her job. I had a lady on, uh, I think it was Oklahoma Goats, one of the Oklahoma Goats sites, arguing with me saying that rough collies are not protectors. Well, first of all, she's half rough collie. He just wants my bucket. He just wants me for my bucket. First of all, she's only half rough collie. The other half is Anatolian Shepherd, which is a herd protector. And uh, secondly, rough collies are known as herding as well as protection dogs. Carry a bucket in the pasture full of horses and see what you get. They're silly. And then you got Critter over there. He just loves that block. Every once in a while, when we have extra, I like to go watch um, Ernest play football. They play for Gore. And, uh, you know, they're both freshmen, first year on the high school team, and they seem to be doing pretty good. One's the center, and uh, the other one's the running back, I think. I don't know. I'm not too savvy on the, the football terms. All I know is they play ball, and uh, we like to watch them. And as per my, my usual, I am sitting in the truck and I'm feeding the baby, but he's got to eat, so I get to feed him. Uh, we're at the beginning of the third quarter, and it's 30 to nothing. Gore is winning. Unfortunately, I just missed a touchdown, but... Okay, they're going for the two point conversion. And it's good. So, he's now 37 to nothing. I think. Yeah, I'm pleasantly optimistic about this. We gave him a wrap this up so we can get it posted. Um, today is Friday, first day of Fin and Feather. Uh, tomorrow. We have our church skeet shoot and, uh, you know, two more days of Fit and Feather. Hope to see you guys out. Uh, you know, tag us, holler at us, something. <laughs> Let us know if you're here. We'd love to meet you. Uh, I'd like to see our, our friends. But uh, anyway, guys, if you haven't already liked us, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to us if you haven't also. And, uh, you know, visit us on Facebook. You can always shoot me a message on Facebook if there's ever anything you want to hear about or a, a video about. And, uh, as always, guys, we'll see you soon.